Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Machine Dana. Hope you're doing really well. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go through how you can set up quotes system on your stream. Uh, so this quote system that I'm going to go through today will be the Streamlabs online specific quote system. Uh, I'll go into how you can set that up, how you can enable it, and also how you can edit and add new uh, quotes to your, your quote systems. And also how you're able to uh, kind of add them from uh, from the chat as well as from the Streamlabs online panel. The quotes are a really fun way of being able to add uh, random quotes to a directory of quotes that your users can call from. And that just means they can type, type a command and it will return a random quote from the quotes that you've added to your directory of quotes. Uh, and that can include URLs and things like that. They can be real quotes that you've sort of established over time from your stream. Quotes that perhaps your users have, have uh, said or over the course of your streams or it can be kind of uh, famous quotes or maybe game quotes movie quotes that kind of thing it's just another really cool interactive thing to add to your channel and it's very low maintenance as well uh, it'll just sit there in the background if you find this video useful please do give it a thumbs up below it also helps people find the video if they're searching for the same things that you were searching for so thanks for that also if you want to see more videos like this feel free to drop a subscribe to the channel too I stream daily at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana. So if you want to see these things in action, by all means, pop over and give me a little look. OK, let's get into it. OK, the first thing you want to do here is navigate to streamlabs.com. That will enable you to access the online service from uh, Streamlabs. All you need to do is use your Twitch or your YouTube gaming or your Facebook gaming credentials to log in. It will recognize your profile picture information once you've authorized that information. Then we go into CloudBot here. Make sure that CloudBot is toggled on using this toggle. Once you've done that, you then need to go into your own chat and type forward slash mod and then Streamlabs. That just means that you've modded Streamlabs and enabled CloudBot to be able to make uh, chat prompts within your chat uh, and it's got the right level of authority to do that. So today we're interested in the quote system. You manage quotes in the CloudBot and quotes tab here. And there are only two settings that you've got here. You've got the list of quotes themselves, which is content based. Essentially, it's the directory of quotes that you have available to call from. And then you've got a settings tab here, uh, which has only got the date format. So we can pretty much ignore that one. So we'll just go through adding an actual quote. To add a quote, you click on this button here, add quote. Uh, and then this is the quotation. You can also choose to credit the quote here. So credit the person. Uh, if you want to, or credit the game or the movie or whatever the uh, the information is. You can specifically quote the game here. This field here is a mandatory field. The game field is required, uh, but that doesn't actually have to be a game. It can just be a, a quote um, kind of credit, as it were. So, for instance, it might be uh, a game quote from, uh, from it might be Mario uh, from the game Super Mario World, for example. Uh, like that and then you say who it's added by i'm just going to say machine dana uh, but also that field would be auto populated if one of your mods has added the quotation uh, and i'll show you how to do that in a second you click save that's now been added to the directory of quotes i've got loads of different quotes just to give you some examples a lot of my quotes are from like uh if uh, i've actually put youtube uh, urls in my quotes as well to show an example these are examples from age of empires so if, in age of empires you used to be able to type a number number six in age of empires would say stone please <laughs> so here's just that and then a, a link to a, a video that shows uh, stone please as well uh, but you can also just do random quotes as well you can see here 148 my 148th quote is the mario quote that we've just added the date it was added and who it was added by and you can see here different people have added different quotes on my channel now to test this out all we simply have to do is go into our chat type exclamation mark quote when i press enter here or when my users press enter it will call on that directory it will pick a quote at random and it will return that quote into chat the right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world g man from half-life uh, and that was added on the 28th of june 2020. any user can do that we can try a few more quote yes <laughs> from age of empires <laughs> so if you want some extra settings a little bit more control over how the quotes themselves actually work you can go into the command section here scroll down to quotes these are the default commands um so you can 
this one will trigger a random uh, specific quote as I've just demonstrated using exclamation point quote. Add quote allows you or a mod to add a quote through chat. Uh, quote edit allows you to edit a quote through chat. Quote remove allows you to remove a quote from chat. To edit these specific default commands, you just click on the pencil here. Uh, you can set the permission for that particular command. Uh, and you can say, you know what, um, I want the reply to be in chat. Uh, and then it'll pull it'll pull the response. First of all, you can change the command itself to pull the quote. Uh, I don't know why you would want to have it as anything other than quote, but um, you could maybe, yeah, I don't know, pick a saying or something like that, I don't know. Then you can edit the response. Here we've got some static text quote, and then it's a number with the quote ID. So the, num the quote number that I just showed earlier. The quote message itself, which is the quote. The quote game, if that's applicable. Uh, and the quote date. Um, so you may not want to show the date, for example, so you could just delete that particular variable uh, information there. The reply is in chat. You can have it so that the reply is in a whisper. Again, I'm not really sure why you'd want that, but it is, it is there. Advanced, you can also have a global cooldown uh, as a value in seconds, and then a user cooldown. So I've got a 10 second cooldown on mine. It just means that people can't spam one after another. Uh, and you can also give it an alias as well. For example, quotes. So I've just added a, a second alias with an S on the end of that, just in case somebody types a plural version. <laughs> so now I just want to demonstrate how that add quote through chat works. I, the, the permission on this particular command is for moderators, um, but you could make it so that it's only the streamer that can add quote by clicking that and doing that. Uh, so that is something that, that you can have. It's funny this because that's been unchecked for me adding quotes, but I know that I've been able to add quotes. Anyway, so I'll, I'll just demonstrate how adding a quote actually works. You simply type exclamation point, add quote, and then what the actual quote is. Um, this is a test quote. And that's literally it. Press enter. And then you get a return confirmation message. Machine Dana successfully added, add quote, and it's number 149. I can now just check in my quotes section here. Scroll down and go to uh, there, and you can see the quote has been added there in the directory of quotes. You can also edit a quote uh, by using exclamation point quote edit, and then um, I think you type number one or nine, uh, and then change it to this is not a quote, just to demonstrate it being worked. Hopefully this works. Okay, uh, so what I actually first did here was to add a hashtag to the number of the quote that I wanted to edit. Um, the, the hashtag didn't isn't needed. So I then did it again, exclamation point quote edit with the number of the quote I would like to edit. Uh, and then I'm saying this is not a quote. So I'm changing it from this is a quote to this is not a quote. Uh, successfully edited quote uh, 149. Now I think you can also do quote 149 to specifically call a particular quote. Yes. So this isn't shown here um, on the default command. I think this is be, it is there, you can have it as an option. If you don't select a number, it will randomly pull a number. So quote 149 and it's returned that specific quote. Now finally, I'm gonna demonstrate the uh, quote remove function here. So this is uh, just quote remove 149. So I've successfully deleted quote 149 there and that's a confirmation message. We'll just take a quick look on the actual quotes here. Scroll down to the next page. As we can see, there is no 149 in the directory. Okay, so that's how you add, remove and edit quotes, both from the uh, Streamlabs online panel and also from chat, including you as the streamer and also uh, mods too. If you found this video useful, please do give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Visit me at twitch.tv forward slash machine Dana and otherwise have a wonderful day.